Hi and welcome to this new episode of FinTalk. Today we'll be talking to Dr. Mazlan Ahmed, the Executive Chairman at Fintera. Hello Dr. Mazlan Ahmed, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yes, thank you. You're Me welcome. Too. The World Bank NCF ISRA Wakaf report was launched this month. Mm -hmm. Can you share some of your opinions regarding this report and tell us what this report would mean for Fintera's future? Oh, this report is so important to us. This create a new milestone. This is what we plan to achieve during the first setup of Fintera Growth Company. Basically to get the buy-in, mm -hmm. not only from regulators, but also from Sharia scholars, from international body or organizations. So as you know, NCF is the training arms under the Central Bank of Malaysia to provide Islam banking, Islamic finance, Wakaf, so on and so forth. Whereas Israel is the another training arm and also providing advisory for the Sharia matters pertaining to Islamic banking, Islamic finance and also the Wakaf. So these two entities is so important to us because they are the authority, not only providing training but also advisory, the opinion for Sharia related issues. And of course, as for the World Bank, no need for me to explain. So these three strategic partners, when they come up with a joint report on the Wakaf, and specifically mention the importance of fintech, the importance of technology, especially blockchain technology, and mention specifically about the fintera. I think this is all. This is a big, a big, big achievement. Achievement. For us. But of course, you cannot just stay relaxed. Of course. There are more works to do. Congratulations yes. upon this achievement. Yes. So, uh, because of this report, we have received a lot of requests, even with Central Bank, to really help in sending the message, yes, Waka is the future for social finance. Fintera is the vehicle to realize these visions. And I add one more, Fintera is not ordinary vehicles, but is a jet pilot. So, if Waka can be achieved for the next 20 30 years, but with technology blockchain, I believe we can shut, cut short. It's not half, but I think even two thirds of the journey. It definitely, we can expedite the whole process. And Alhamdulillah, with various engagement that we have with various parties, various organizations, various regulators, not only Malaysia, but also uh, overseas. I believe um, the momentum is there, the support system is there. Now is really how we can put into practice and really spread the strategy actions for all. And uh, last week we were invited by Tanzania ambassador to discuss how Fintera can help to grow for the Wakaf development in Tanzania. So inshallah we will be going to Tanzania to meet the president himself because he invited us to discuss how can we have a strategic collaboration. So a lot of parties now really really looking at us as a potential strategic partners. We wish you good luck for this meeting with the Thank President you. at Tanzania. Yes. Fintera is clearly establishing a strong foothold in the Wakaf community, not just in Malaysia but also globally. Thank you. Dr. Mazlan, what do you think about the future of this company, Fintera, and what are some of your personal aspirations? The future of Fintera, as good as the future of Wakaf. That's why I, I put tagline for Fintera, Fintera, the future, Wakaf. So uh, yes, anybody can claim they are providing technology to help grow and spur for the Wakaf development. But what we are doing is so unique. We are using the blockchain technology. 
somebody asked me, okay, with your blockchain technology, can anybody hack? You know, I said yes. With normal technology, yes, definitely. All the smart Alex, yes. they can do the hacking. But does anyone ever hack bitcoins? Because so that you know we can speak the same language. No. So what makes Bitcoin so strong that nobody can hack? Because the fundamental underneath is blockchain technology. Right. So similarly, today we are using blockchain technology to really apply for the development of Waka. I'm talking about the database management, creating value. Of course, we can have a tokenization one day. Uh, we can have all the public ledger, all the public key, private key with hash graph, with cryptography, all this strengthen so that the technology will be immutable forever and ever. So one thing also, I would like to change the mindset of the people. In the past, when we talk about Wakaf, oh, Wakaf is not for me. Wakaf is only for those who are rich, they have plenty of lands, a lot of money. But I say no, Wakaf is basic, fundamental, all for all. How do we translate that? Yes, I don't have money, but how much do you have? Can you walk up one dollar? Yes, you can walk up with one dollar. And the best part, when your intention is to walk up for even one dollar, you will get benefit. As a Muslim, we believe we will get sawab forever in perpetual. The different concept if you infar, sadaqah, is one of thing. But when you put a wakaf, you will get the rewards in hereafter, forever and ever. That is so beautiful. And using blockchain technology, this is where another unique is that you can donate $1. You can trace where the $1 goes into. You can see who are the recipient. You can see the progress. Because with this technology, the recipient must put a lot of report into our platform. This is what they have done. These are the future that they need further financial assistance. You see, we are connecting donors and also recipients. And today in our platform, for those who have not gone through our platform, we are even create institution player, trust organization, the government, they can put. So this is where anybody can put work up. Anybody can do good deeds. Certainly. Anybody can do the charity. But let's say you have big money, you can put big money. You have small money, you can put small money. If you don't have money, this is where another breakthrough that I would like to share. Wakaf is not about dollar and cent. What do you have with you? If you want to help people, I don't have money but I have energy. A lot of good charity organizations are, you know, under construction around our area. Just go and contribute Wakaf your energy. But I'm not that healthy to contribute my energy, but certainly you have a lot of idea. You have a lot of idea. Contribute your idea. I don't have idea. But certainly you have a lot of contact, your parents, your relatives, you know, your friends locally and connect this contact for the Wakaf contributions. You see, this is the mindset that I would like to change. As long as we put our heart, we want to help. We want to help for the entire mankind. This is where for our University Wakaf, I'm talking about having a universal university the e-learning all the professors please come join us don't put your book your thesis your research at the cupboard share you put in our platform so the whole world can benefit from your research can benefit from your knowledge so one day i would like to see the whole world will become knowledge why knowledge husband Knowledge son, knowledge daughter, knowledge worker, knowledge community, 
knowledge Umar, more civilized so that we will respect each other more, we appreciate more people. And that is basically the whole uh, philosophy behind. So and we want to have a good life, not only here, but also in, in paradise, Europe. yes. So we start now. It doesn't matter how much you contribute, but what is matter is the willingness to contribute. Thank you, Dr. Muslim, for taking the time to answer our questions and meet us today. Thank you. It was Thank a pleasure for, to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. Quite welcome. Thank you. This was all for today's FinTalk. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at fintera.org. And if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.